Minecraft speedrunning has been very popular for a very long time, and I almost thought of breaking a record for Minecraft speedrunning. But then I remembered that my channel is mostly niched on Roblox. So, why not break some records on Roblox? So I went to the search bar on speedrun.com and I searched up Roblox. A couple of games popped up, Speedrun 4, Piggy, Jailbreak, and Climb 2000 Stairs to VIP. So I clicked on 2000 Stairs to VIP since it was a game that I never played in a very long time. It was the 11th oldest speedrunning game on Roblox on the website. It's the 5th game to have the most runs published. It was the 14th game to get published to speedrun.com. 15th game with most active players. 5th game with the most total players. A thing you should know before speedrunning in this game is never to go in the middle of stairs because it does not decrease your time, but going on the rail does actually decrease your time by a couple seconds. As you can see for the people coming up, they're on the middle of the stairs but I'm on the rail but when I'm cutting corners I'm actually passing them since they're only using the middle of the stairs. So there's different checkpoints to speedrun too. This is 2000 stairs all the way to the top. This is 1500 stairs. The one below it is 1000 stairs. And the one below that is 500 stairs. Then when you go all the way to the bottom then you have a green checkpoint, which is just the start. So this is the first speedrun I ever did. I got 56 seconds and 63 milliseconds, and it was for 500 stairs. At the end, I only got 6th place. The second run I published was 1 minute, 53 seconds, and 20 milliseconds, and it was for 1,000 stairs. This was my first run to get first place. So for my third speed run, I did it at any percent. So any percent for this game is basically there's an invisible teleport on the stairs and the first frame when you hit the stairs, the time starts. And then when you hit the stairs, you get teleported to a crane and then you gotta parachute your way down to the checkpoint. Your time stops when you hit the checkpoint. Then I did it at any percent for a thousand stairs and I got exactly six seconds. Instead of any percent for 2000 stairs, they have bounce percent. Bounce percent is basically once you get teleported, you just do no parachute and then you bounce off the ground. Once you bounce off the ground, I bounce like right under 500 stairs and then I just went all the way up to the end. I got a time of 3 minutes and 2 seconds, so I beat the record by 50 seconds. On this run, I sped run 1,500 stairs and I got 2 minutes, 45 seconds, and 920 milliseconds. On this one I got 1 minute, 50 seconds, and 350 milliseconds on 1000 stairs. For all my runs I have been using my timer to see if I beat it or not, but I never recorded it. But then this time I recorded it because I found out how to do it. And I got a time of 1 minute and 50 seconds. After that speedrun I did another any percent speedrun, and I did it for 500 stairs and I got 6 seconds, 200 milliseconds. After that speedrun, I did 2,000 stairs, and I got 3 minutes, 38 seconds, 870 milliseconds, which got me second place, but later I beat it, and I got first place. Then I did a speedrun to break my 4th place record for 500 stairs, and at the end got first place. Here's a picture of the record saying that I got first place. For this speedrun, I was trying to lower my record, which I did, and I got 1 minute and 46 seconds for 1,000 stairs. Now it was time to beat my record for 2,000 stairs. At this time, my record was second place, but then this time I got first place, and I got a time of 3 minutes and 31 seconds. I'm going to speed it up for you guys.
world record. Nice. That's a world record. I didn't know those stairs were there already. Um, 331.31 is what I got. For this speed run, I did 1,500 stairs and I got 2 minutes and 42 seconds. For this speed run, I did 500 stairs since someone beat my record and I was now second tied with a guy. But then I wanted to redo my record so the guy was third that was tied with me and then I'm second. So after the speed run, most of the speed runs are basically speed runs that try to break my world records like that I already broke just to lower the time so no one like breaks it and all that stuff. This run was for a thousand stairs and I got one minute and 43 seconds. For this speed run, I did 1,500 stairs, I got 2 minutes, 40 seconds, 250 milliseconds, and I beat the record and I got first place, even though I broke my own record. After that 1,500 stairs record, I broke it by 2 seconds, just to lower the time a little bit. For 500 stairs, I'm pretty close to first place and I got 50 seconds. For 1,000 stairs, I got first place and I got 1 minute and 43 seconds. For 1,500 stairs, I got 2 minutes and 38 seconds. For 2,000 stairs, I got 3 minutes and 31 seconds. For the any percents, make sure to pause the video because I go through them fast since there's not a lot on the list. I hope you all enjoyed the story on how I became the fastest stair climber on Roblox. If you're one of those 79% of people who are not subscribed and enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing. If you want me to do some speedrunning videos like this and break some more records, please say in the comments. And if you want to see the world records for yourself, I have a link in the description that will send you to the page where I have all the world records. And just an update, I'm going camping next week, so if there's no video after the week, next week then that's probably why all the links will be in the description so the game link my world records and my discord if you guys want to join my discord it's in the description down below so i'll see you guys later